Welcome back to the CNN IBN special where we're coming to you live from the banks of the beautiful Hussain Sagar Lake, which really is one of the defining points of Hyderabad. If ever one wanted to come and understand whether any any event, any tragedy has had an impact on the people of Hyderabad or not, well, this is the place that one should be coming to. Let's now take a look at what does it mean for the corporate sector. How do all these multinational companies which have converted Hyderabad into Cyberabad respond when they see that the political stability of Hyderabad is in danger? Hyderabad generally have been very peaceful city, relatively speaking. And, uh, uh, you know, this morning I was out in the city, I didn't see any sense of panic or sense of great concern, uh, which might lead to the point of, you know, slowing down. Hyderabad headquartered IT giant Satyam says there will not be any impact of the blasts on business, but nonetheless the company has gone ahead and increased security at its offices. The local BPO companies, which already have stringent security precautions, say working in multiple international locations and in an age of terror has made them more proactive when dealing with such incidents. At least three or four different industries in Hyderabad, they proactively uh, you know, spoke to their customers, uh, they send their emails in terms of what is being done. A lot of these things are done immediately and made it at peace in terms of there is no need to worry. So while the industry says such steps ensure no adverse long-term impact on the business, there are still isolated knee-jerk reactions by customers. A large BPO told us on condition of anonymity that Saturday's bomb blasts in Hyderabad have already had a direct impact on business. A large potential customer, a global financial services major, has cancelled a site visit here in Hyderabad on Monday. But in the long term, almost all companies believe brand Hyderabad has not suffered because of the blasts. With Vivian Matthew in Hyderabad, in Mumbai, Alastair D'Souza. So the corporate sector really feeling the heat, really feeling a bit jittery, rattled. Maybe it could be in the immediate aftermath. Who knows what would happen two weeks from now. Zam sahab, aap se janna chahenge. Jis prakar ki rajneetik gatividhiyan piche dekhne ko mili, jab Taslima Nasreen ji yahan par aayi, unke khilaaf sakt nare bazi hui, khub bhe saare pradarshan hui. Kya sirf rajneeta hi is prakar ki rajneet mein vishwa sakte hai? Kya aapko lagta hai ki janta ka is mein vishwa sakte hai? Mainne samajhta ki is mein janta ka kisi rishwam ka vishwa sakte hai. Aap announce karte hai is prakar ki rajneeti ko? कोई कोई महिला आती है अगर वो किसी के खिलाफ कुछ बोलती भी है तो क्या क्या है हैदराबाद की तहजीब को क्या सूट करता है तहजीब में तो किसी को भी गैर गलत बोलना वो तहजीब के खिलाफ होगा अगर इसी किस्म की कोई हरकत अगर हुई है तो उसके खिलाफ कानूनी कार्रवाई की जा सकती थी एक्सट्रीमिस्ट एलिमेंट विच एग्जिस्ट इन हैदराबाद विच एग्जिस्ट इन एरियाज अराउंड हैदराबाद इज इट जस्ट एन एक्सेप्शन और आई यू वर इट वेन यू सी दट एडुकेटेड पीपल ऑल्सो आर गेटिंग Till now, maybe the, the blast happened at the Makkah Masjid, and till then I think it was okay. But this time, maybe it's a little different because it's got into places like the Lumbini Park, like the Gokul Chhar, probably places where normal middle class people would go there. And uh, yeah, it's a simple Saturday evening, Sunday evening uh, uh, night out for uh, many families. And uh, once it affects places like this, I think this this particular instance is a little different from the others. And uh, probably yes, it's. Uh, kind of getting the feeling. Maybe it will take, uh, okay. it's a small dent in uh, the Hyderabad feeling. Would you agree with that? It's a small dent in the kind of security that Hyderabadis may have felt. You were telling me that you come from Bombay. Bombay also has had a history of bomb blasts. Nothing has happened. You feel something similar is now going to take place in Hyderabad? Uh, you know, uh, one of the uh, synonyms that you attach with the city of Hyderabad would possibly be laid back. You know, I just hope... No, no, south, many say. I just hope uh, this laid-back attitude is not going to, you know, accept everything that happens uh, and comes their way. Just and as and what do the young people feel about this? Kind of, the question which I was asking Nizam Sab, what, what do the young people feel when they feel that Taslima Nasri, a celebrated author, is attacked in full public glare by politicians? You know, this was actually brought to our notice by one of our listeners who called up and said that this is what's happening. Right. And you'll actually be amazed because, you know, we do a lot of uh, morning shows and evening shows where we have very... Uh, Themized topics, for so example. People completely denounced it. Absolutely. Okay, okay. We'll take another quick break at this stage. When we return, final comments from all our panelists. But as we dive into that break, take a look at what people across the country feel about these dastardly acts in the city of Hyderabad. The public and the authorities and the government should go hand in hand. People are nervous, but 
I mean, it's not a question of having a hoax call, obviously. I mean, we need to be prepared for the situation. Life has to go on and if we have to not let these people achieve what they want to achieve, we have to go on with our lives.